Zip. Today we're looking at these two smart plugs. They are relatively small. It takes up only one space and it provides two additional outlets. And you can always stack them on top of each other in the same outlet. Press this button to get it in sync mode. You'll definitely need it later on to pair it in the app. The uh, smart plug is relatively small. Here is a 9 volt battery for comparison. Just to be clear, these are 10 amps only, so they're perfect for lighting. I have them in the garage, so that way whenever I open a door, the smart plug automatically turn on the lights in the garage. Pretty slick. Inside a box, there's nothing really to it. It lets you know that it's compatible with Alexa and Google Home. On one side, there's a QR code. Just scan it in, get the Tuya app, and then control from there. In order to control the smart plug via automation, you'll need to download this Tuya app. Go ahead and click Login. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and click on Sign Up. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in my account. On the upper right hand corner, you can click on the plus icon to add device. It's going to want to know your location, so go ahead and let it know your location. You really don't have a choice. So go into your settings and turn on location. Allow the Tuya Smart only when using the app. When you're adding the device, there's going to be a bunch of options, but go ahead and click this socket Wi-Fi. This smart plug is only 2.4 GHz, so if you have anything fancy like an Eero, go ahead and go into the Eero app and disable the 5 GHz. Otherwise, this smart plug will never jump onto your Wi-Fi network to pair with this app. Here, I'm entering my Wi-Fi network ID and a password associated with it. Go ahead and plug the device in. Press and hold down the reset button for 5 seconds. It's the button that I showed you earlier in the video. And click on next. When you let go of the reset button, it should start blinking. And if it's blinking slowly, then that's good. Now on your mobile phone, go ahead and disconnect from your Wi-Fi network and jump into this great Wi-Fi network that starts out with Smart Life. Once you jump to the Smart Life Wi-Fi, it's going to try to pair it with that smart plug. And there you go, the smart plug has been added successfully. Here you can see that it recognized the smart plug. It has two plug-in outlets. There's the switch number one and the switch number two. Click on the pencil icon to rename it to whatever you want. For the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to rename them to A and B. If you press on this power button right here, it will turn both of them on or off at the same time. So right now this is off and this is on. In this app, there's an option for you to set up with Alexa and Google Assistant, but I have no interest in setting up with these uh, smart assistants. I can't stand the idea of a microphone always listening in the house. The hub I'm actually using is Home Assistant. It is completely local. There's absolutely no way for it to get online at all. For the simplicity of this video, we're just setting up using the Tuya Smart App, and that is definitely dependent on the cloud. Later on, in another video, I'm going to show you how to use this with Home Assistant completely local using this plugin called Tuya Local. Overall, this smart plug is really good and relatively compact for its size. The only real downside is that it's only 10 amps, so I wouldn't try to use this with a uh, space heater, for instance. You might burn your house down. Alright, hopefully you found this video helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.